Good afternoon, and welcome to another episode of Moments with Madison. Today, I would like to talk about my wife, Dolly Madison. I know that this is a time of difficulty for you, and it's a time of difficulty for us, too. 1793, Dolly Madison lost her husband during the yellow fever epidemic in Philadelphia. In three months, one-tenth of the population died from that epidemic. Her husband was a lawyer who was helping people with their wills at the end. He caught the disease. He ran upstate where she was and died in her arms, leaving her a widow with a small boy. I saw her the next year and I was taken with her. <laughs> I asked if I would see if I could see her and let me read you this little letter. <laughs> to Liza Collins. Dear friend, thou must come to see me. Aaron Burr says that the great little Madison has asked to be brought to see me this evening. <laughs> the great little Madison. That is what I was known as. And so Aaron Burr brought me her house, and we sat and spoke, and I fell in love. No question, she was the most beautiful woman the world had ever seen, and she was brilliant, she was happy. I proposed to her almost immediately, and after several months of hesitation, she accepted me, and we were happily married. Were we happily married? I will let you decide that. Let me read you a letter from a visitor to the President's mansion. <clears throat> the President and the Lady Presidentess would in private sometimes romp and tease each other like two children and engage in antics that would astonish the muse of history. Mrs. Madison was stronger as well as larger than he. She could and did seize him by his hands, draw him upon her back, and go round the room with him. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you at another moment with Madison.